Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law, how are you today? Uh, one of the top questions that we are frequently asked is what are the top remedies uh, when someone is in a breach of contract in a, in a typically residential transaction? And so the real question is, you know, am I representing the buyer or am I representing the seller? But in terms of representing, let's say, the buyer, if the seller has defaulted, uh, there are a number of options. One is to obviously get your, your, your money back, your, your deposit, maybe get some extra money back uh, for, the, for all the inconvenience that's been caused to you. And if you absolutely insist on wanting to keep that property, you know, that you think you, you, you have a good contract on, you may be able to sue for specific performance and force the seller to sell the property to you and prevent them from selling it to anyone else. So that would be uh, what happens if the seller defaults. So now let's just turn around and say, what happens if the buyer defaults? What are your top remedies if a buyer defaults? Well, the first question is, why did they default? If they're defaulting because they couldn't get a mortgage, uh, did they do that during the period of time that they were allowed to get a mortgage or outside the period? If it's outside the period, it is a default and your, your typical remedy is going to be to keep the deposit. There are an occasional set of circumstances where you could maybe sue them to force them to close, but typically you don't have a specific performance provision in Florida real estate contracts where a buyer defaults. Typical, the remedy for the seller is to keep the deposit. And that's why I tell everyone, you know, you can't just take $5,000 on a million dollar house as a deposit. You need to take five or 10% uh, of a deposit, maybe sometimes even more, to make sure that the buyer is sincere about closing. Because if they do walk, you know, you have that extra cash if the buyer walks and that's your remedy. But if you've only taken a small deposit, you probably uh, don't have the best real estate advisors advising you. And so not only do we provide legal services and besides having a title company, we provide advice since we have closed over three and a half billion dollars, that's what it'd be, uh, real estate transactions in the course of, of, of my lifetime and, 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 and this firm, which is a lot of years. Anyway, Roy Oppenheim from the trenches, take care.